Welcome back to Chico Chaps Films. In this video, I'll be visiting the expensive stores and designer stores in Paris at a shop called Galerie Lafayette. Stay tuned. I'm still taking the tour de France, not the cycling race, but the tour of the beautiful city of Paris. They said Rome was not built in a day. Clearly, Paris too was not built in a day. So I took the train to the beautiful building of Galerie Lafayette. Paris is known to be the city of fashion and style. Apart from art, sculptures and museum, historically, Paris region has always been a major reference for fashion and luxury. Paris region is home to several haute culture, mushrooms such as Dior, Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Fendi, Saint Laura, among others. In fact, all major brands internationally have a flagship store in Paris region. I'm Kenyan born and I'm taking along the African continent with me to the world so that they can see how beautiful the world looks from the resources that come from Africa. As a Kenyan, we are very nosy and we see something, we don't just let it slide. We stop and look and even ask questions. I came across an Italian gentle looking man selling expensive timepieces. They're no longer called watches because normal watches cannot match the price of these timepieces. He had variety, but what caught my eye was a jungle green citizen timepiece. It was fairly priced around 299 euros, and I was thinking that could be a good gift for my dad, even though I did not have the money with me at the moment. I still had to know more about it. Yeah, so when you purchase with your ticket, uh, you get a 12% tax refund. No, but I live in the Netherlands. Right? Ah, okay, if you have an address in the Netherlands, oh, no. So that's different. That's different. Okay. Yeah. If you have your residency outside Europe, then you have 12% right. Uh, okay. But when I'm heading back to Kenya, I think I should pass by me and... Uh, okay, you're get, welcome, get, sir. Get, get, get. I mean, worldwide it's a bestseller, and it's very hard to find um, an automatic sapphire glass, and a strap as beautiful as this, less than about 570. Feels light. It feels light and it's an ergonomic design as well, so you see the crown is at the bottom, so it doesn't press into your hand. Also the aesthetics, it's very, very beautiful. It was actually in October 1912 when the store started to take off a different dimension and the flagship galleries Lafayette stores was unveiled. The store has hosted the like of Duchess of Windsor, the gum, the wife to Aga Khan, celebrities, movies have been acted in that building, the series Lupin, and also in the more recent times it has hosted Bill Clinton and also Prince Charles, who's currently the king who opened the London exhibition. Is the, uh... Eight thousand euros. Mm -hmm. Eleven thousand. Bro. Gallery Lafayette is the best shopping mall in Paris. It is a grand department store in Paris that is known for its upscale fashion, gourmet food, beautiful art, nouveau architecture, and in-store activities. Galleries Lafayette's women's fashion space is the world's largest fashion collection with about 15,000 meters square. From the beginning, Galleries Lafayette has remained true to its vocation to serve up fashion and innovation. To stand out from his rivals, Theophile Bada, one of the two cousins who started the uh, Gallery Lafayette, wanted to make sure that the latest fashions would be available to all. With this in mind, he set up and acquired production facilities to make clothing exclusively for Galleries Lafayette under its own private label. He was also keenly aware that fashion and customers' tastes will constantly be changing. The Galleries director advised an ingenious strategy to make sure that the store was always up to date. He took himself off to the races and the opera, accompanied by a designer who also will discreetly copy the most stylish outfits designed by the most famous culturists. 
adjustments were made here and there and the outfits put in production as quickly and as soon as possible. Fashion for the masses had arrived and it was an instant success. Very soon, everyone was hurrying along to Galleries Lafayette. All right, so that was second floor. So right now we're on third floor and still women's fashion. From the wealthy Bogais to working class seamstresses, known as Midinets, young women who only ever had time to grab a quick snack in their lunch break. A vast banner appeared, draped across the store for Cade on Rue Lafayette, announcing Galleries Lafayette, the best merchandise in all of Paris. The store continued to grow and expand its product range, adding menswear, furniture, toys, and tableware departments to its more traditional right. ranges. Levis Charles, what for jeans do you have? Here in Paris, and also on my back, right there. That's the Eiffel Tower. Um, that's the statue. When you talk about Paris, that's what uh, comes into mind. And also, we have uh, other buildings. There's a museum right here. We also have another museum right there. Um, there's another museum. Mm, there's so many museums right now. Uh, and also talking about the buildings. It is amazing. So Paris is actually a place you should visit. And uh, yeah, I mean, what more can I say about Paris? It's amazing. It's a really, really amazing man. And also another good thing about uh, this uh, Galleria Lafayette is. Uh, the view here on top, on the topmost floor, I think it's the sixth floor, it is free, no charge. Just come here and get to view the amazing Paris. Um, I don't know about it. In Kenya, for example, KCC, you charge to go to the top, view the city. Bro, I'm in Paris right now and it is free, bro. Free, no charge. Look at the amazing view. No charge. Recording is free. And bro, you do what you have to do. I mean, look where I'm at right now. Everything is absolutely spectacular. I hope, I hope Kenya appears to have one day, one time. But for now, bro, Galeria Lafayette, don't forget that thing. Paris. Oh, yeah, that's so uh, Thank you. 
Louis XIV patronage, the royal court became a beacon of creativity, attracting artisans and craftsmen from far and wide to showcase their talents. The sumptuary laws enacted during his reign not only regulated clothing but also elevated Paris as the arbiter of style and sophistication throughout Europe. One of Louis XIV's most enduring contributions to fashion was the establishment of the standard fashion seasons, that's uh, the spring, the summer, the fall and the winter. The summer king understood the importance of seasonal trends in driving consumer demand and stimulating the economy. By mandating the creation of the new fashion lines and textiles each season, Louis XIV boosted the textile industry's economy and solidifies Paris' position as a global fashion hub. Now we know whom to thank for those runaway shows we drool over twice a year.